it's time to make a stabilizer plate for our rack for our Nelson rig tail bag. So stick around. Okay guys, so this is basically what I've come up with. This is my little, we'll just call it platform for my uh, 20 liter Nelson rig bag. I just want to make it a little more stable so it sits on there nice and solid. I'm going to make that out of aluminum. This is just a cardboard template, but this is basically what I came up with. I'll probably radius these corners here and on the other end as well uh, just to try and give it less chance that it's going to cut into the bag but I'm going to slide the bag back on there if I can do this with one hand okay and you can see up underneath there it gives a lot more support than it would normally if you can see that I don't know if you can or not hopefully you can I'm trying to lighten it up there you go yes yeah, so you can see it's it's a lot more um, supported than it would be with that little, like, I think it's only like six inch wide platform. This is uh, 10 inches at the front, uh, tapering back to nine at the back, which matches the shape of the bag a little bit. Um, so anyway, yeah, a little bit of progress. I'll show you the next stage here shortly. Okay, so this is kind of a quick little tip. When you're cutting this kind of stuff, you're trying to do radiuses with a cutoff wheel, which is like a four and a half inch grinder cutoff wheel. Cut some little serrations like that, you know, cut some slices, and then you go back through and just score the top with the blade real carefully. And then, this is especially with aluminum. You can do it with steel, but especially with aluminum, you come back with some vice grips and you just break out the pieces. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. And you just come along and they just break right out. It works great. It's a great little tip. And you can come back and clean it up with a, with a, uh, a flap disc or file or something like that. Whatever you want to use. But uh, anyway, yeah. Pretty good little tip. These things will just bite them right off. All right, so there we go. I've got two more holes to drill. But we've got it lined up. We use the center line down the pattern that I made to get the whole uh, spacing. And then off of the uh, thread certs, I measured from the outer edge to the outer edge with my caliper. And you could, you could probably use a nice, if you had a really good quality state, straight edge, um, and that got me my spacing. And you just go center to center, and there you go. Okay, so I just wanted to go over what I did here. These are, these are just little thread inserts. They call them nut certs sometimes. Um, I popped these in, and most of these were existing holes. One, two, three, four. I added these two holes here just to give me a little more stability. They come with this little um, setter, if you will. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pop, pop rivet tool. What, the, what you do is you thread these on to the end, like this, right? You thread them onto that, you get it all the way bottomed out, and then put it in the hole and you give that a good strong squeeze and it sets a nice little thread in there for you. Works really good, gives you a little spacer too. It's what's cool is it gives me a little space off of the, the deck of my rack. So when I use my, my new plate that we're building, it won't be rubbing on this and making it all ugly when I don't want to use it. So this is a, kind of a cool little setup. I think this should work really well. Okay, for the basically the last step here before paint, um, what I did was I took the rack off the back of the bike. Um, and the nice thing about these uh, riv nuts is that they are they're open. So they're quite easy to transfer. I've got the two screws in there that we did earlier. Um, this is a transfer punch set. You can get them 
at Harbor Freight or on Amazon for like 10 bucks. It's a great, great addition to your toolkit, something I would suggest if you're planning on doing any metal work. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these, they're basically, see, they've got a little transfer, they've got a little punch, and they're in multiple different sizes. You find the one that fits, I can do this with the camera, inside they're snug but not too tight, and then you just hit it with a hammer and that, get, that gives you your hole position. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here on the workbench. We transferred the, the uh, location of the screw holes with the uh, transfer punches. You'll see it leaves a nice little, especially on aluminum, it's really good. It leaves a nice little divot, very easy to spot. So uh, I'm going to go through, we'll drill those holes to match the other size, uh, which is a quarter inch. And uh, we should be just about done. Um, I'll chamfer the holes and make it look real nice. It'll be ready to bolt this thing back on after some paint. All right, so there we go. I decided to switch to a countersunk screw because I had a feeling those other ones were probably gonna wear through my bag. So we got everything in here nice and countersunk. It's uh, looking pretty good. I'm still going to paint the plate and the grab rails with the gray that I have uh, that matches the frame. Um, so, and then, the, and then this is gonna get like a rubberized coating to make it nice and grippy. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'll show you the finished product when we're all done. Okay, there's the finished product. Really pleased with how it turned out. You can see the gray on the frame matches the handle almost perfectly. I mean, it, it's really, really close. It's, it's good enough for me. You, you won't, nobody will notice, that's for sure. It's that close. With the naked eye, it's almost indiscernible. So anyway, nice, nice little rack addition. Uh, I always try to make stuff when I can rather than buy it uh, and plus now with this setup I can pull six screws out and real quick with a with a drill and, uh, and and then I've got a nice clean shiny rack that's not all scratched up on the back for when I want to just do some regular um, short distance riding on this thing so anyway thanks for watching we really appreciate you guys liking and subscribing our videos and, uh, and all the comments, too. We've been getting a lot of comments lately. So uh, I really appreciate it. Um, we just try to bring some information, some tips to people when we can. And it's just kind of a fun little hobby. And uh, I'll give you a little tidbit. Coming up, we're going to be talking about this real soon. So stick around for that one. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.